What's up YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here going through the 121 of my cards, 131 card total submission that I'm giving to PSA or sending to PSA I should say. Let's go ahead and start it. All these cards in my opinion are 9 to 10 worthy. Uh, so I got mostly Yu-Gi-Oh! but some Pokemon as well. My friend is actually adding 10 of his. I have 121 and he has 10, equating to 131 total cards. When I get these cards back, I will do a live unboxing or reveal or whatever you may call it. So let's get started. First card, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Unlimited Starter Deck Kaiba. Nothing too crazy in here, guys. Just keep that in mind. Next card, Maneater Bug. This is the one card that I'm not expecting a 10 on, but... Figures. First Dead LOB, first print by the way. Celtic Guardian, first print as well. Polymerization, first print. Open for some tens on these first prints. Curse of Dragon, first print. Mystical Elf, second print. So that one is the second print. Goblin's Secret Remedy, second print. All LOB. Dark Hole, first print. LOB. Now for Metal Raiders, Solemn Judgment, first edition, Metal Raiders. Thousand Dragon, first edition, Metal Raiders. Magic Ruler, Tuned Summon Skull. Pharaoh Servant, Thousand Eyes Restrict, first edition. Hero Servant, Jinzo, this is one I really wanted in a gem. Jinzo, first edition. Pharaonic Guardian, first edition. Great Dizard. Ultra. And of course, the secret rare, Lava Golem. Good for burn decks. Exodia Necros, Dark Crisis, first edition. Paladin of a White Dragon, Magician's Force, first edition. And of course, this is the big boy, Dark Paladin, first edition, uh, non-corrected art, so the error artwork, but this card, if this doesn't get a 10, oh, I'm gonna be, I am gonna be annoyed, because that's look, that looked like a BGS pristine, to be honest with you. Azura Priest, Legacy of Darkness, first edition, lots of Legacy of Darkness, Spear Dragon, first edition. Spear Dragon, first edition. Spear Dragon, first edition. Exiled Force, first edition. Tough set, a lot of tough centering. Exiled Force, first edition. And another. Third Exiled Force, first edition. So three Spear Dragons, three Exiled Forces. Uh, Fiend Skull Dragon, first edition, LOD. Looked very good, very well centered. Luster Dragon, first edition, LOD. Drop off first edition. Reinforcement of the army. Reinforcement of the army. Lots of LOD here, guys. Twin headed behemoth first edition LOD. Twin headed be behemoth first edition LOD. All these cards, by the way, will be back probably in three to four months. Ryu Senshi first edition. Cool art on that. Here's some big ones. Tyrant Dragon, first edition. That is a pop zero. So if PSA 10 would be a pop one, another Tyrant Dragon, first edition. All perfect condition, just the centering. Hopefully we can get some leeway. Hinokagu Sushi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sushi. <laughs> Hinokagu Sushi. I don't know. Another Hinokagu Sushi. Sushi. Pretty sick artwork, though, on this. We have Creature Swap, LOD, first edition. Roaring Captain, LOD, first edition. Dark Ruler Hades or Hades, first edition, LOD. And Injection Fairy Lily, we want a 10 on this so bad. First edition, LOD. Second Injection Fairy, first edition, LOD. Third Injection Fairy Lily, first edition, LOD. Fourth Injection Fairy Lily, first edition, LOD. All are flawless condition-wise, but the centering, of course, is always the issue. 
Chaos Emperor Dragon IOC, first edition, Invasion of Chaos. I'm wanting a 10 on that badly, and I want a 10 on this one too. Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, first edition, IOC. And Insect Princess, first edition, IOC. Ancient Sanctuary Ghost Jackal, or Ghost Knight of Jackal, first edition. First Stream of Destruction, love this card. AST, Ancient Sanctuary, first edition, of course. And Spirit of the Pharaoh, AST, pretty sweet looking card here, too. Now for a Rise of Destiny, the creator, Ultra Rare, not an ultimate. So, kind of disappointing there. A Ancient Gear Beast, Ultimate Rare, first edition, The Lost Millennium. Sticking with the Lost Millennium, Ancient Gear Golem Euro Print, first edition Ultimate. Pretty sweet. And Elemental Energy, Elemental Hero Blade Edge, super. Elemental Energy, Elemental Hero Wild Wingman Ultimate, first edition. A Vanity's Fiend, Cyberdark Impact, first edition. Love this card. Gladiator's Assault, Gl Elemental Hero, Chaos, Neo, Secret. Gladiator's Assault. A Tactical Evolution, Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Ultimate. This has gone up substantially in price, and I believe it is a Euro print. You can see the lines going up and down. Pretty sweet looking card there. Pretty sweet. And here is a Ghost Rare, Majestic Star Dragon, pack pulled by myself and actually one of my videos. You haven't seen that? Check it out. Pretty sweet card. Pop one right now. Could this be a pop two? Quite possibly. And some SOVR again. Dark Rabbit Rare. Pegasus card. Pretty cool. I just like it. <laughs> Same thing with Shine Palace. Pretty cool looking card. I just like it. <laughs> Alright, now we got some cool stuff. A Dark Magician Girl Duelist Legacy 18. Blue Text Rare. Pretty cool. This came in four text colors from Duelist Legacy 18. Another dark blue rare. And now we have a purple Dark Magician Girl text rare from Duelist Legacy 18. And another purple Dark Magician Girl. And now we have the teal slash green Dark Magician Girl font or text from DL18. And another teal slash green slash turquoise Dark Magician Girl. And last color is the red text Dark Magician Girl. Red text rare. And another red text rare from DL18. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, we're going to stick with the Duelist Legacy. We have Duelist Legacy 9. Uh, bluish, I guess you could say light blue is what they call it. Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's pretty sweet. Light blue text from a DL09, Duelist Legacy 9. I really like Duelist Legacy cards. They're pretty, very undervalued in my opinion. Now we have an RPO2 Retro Pack 2 Victory Dragon Secret. Got a good shot at a 10 on this one, so excited for that one. A uh, DRO4, Dark Revelation 4, Cyber and Dragon Ultra. Tough set, tough Ultra to get. DR04, Kaiba Man Secret. Pretty sweet. DR04, Kaiba Man Secret again. So, would love a 10 on one of those. I actually traded my 110, unfortunately, so I want another one. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, Black Rare from VP01. Nothing great there, but hey, it's an alternate art. It's not the super expensive tournament pack. Um, Legendary Collection, Joey's World. Harpy's Feather Duster, Secret. We have the promo uh, SDD Stairway of Destined Duels, Harpy's Feather Duster, my favorite Harpy's Feather Duster. And now we have Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight from Dragons of Legend, the original first edition. One of the newer cards I actually really like in value. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight again, secret first. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, secret first. These are drying up quickly too. Dark Magician Girl, the uh, Dragon Knight. Secret first. Very tough set to get these days. Very expensive. Boxes hitting 250. A Minerva, the Exalted Light Sworn. Um, I just love the artwork on this card. Real, real cheap card. I pulled two, so figure let's submit. Just amazing artwork. I just love it. 
And of course the Minerva again, just because I like it. Uh, pretty cool looking artwork, nice pop to it. It's not the rare price card, but honestly it looks pretty darn nice. Uh, we have a Slifer GBI Ultra, Game Boy 1. A Obelisk GBI Ultra, original. And a Wing Dragon Broad GBI Ultra. And we do have some sports cards too, actually Aaron Rodgers. Turkey Red Rookie. A Gareth Bale for soccer fans. One of one here on the top corner. One of one. Only one in existence. And, okay, let's get on to the Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon. Put these to the side real quick. Alright. On to the Pokemon. Alright. Hitmonchan. Japanese base. Fossil foils here. Uh, ditto. Japanese. A Lapras Japanese. These are all fossil. A Magneton Japanese. Gengar Japanese. Muck Japanese. Kabutops Japanese. Moltres Japanese. Again, all fossil. A Raichu Japanese. Hitmon Lee, Japanese. And now we get to some English stuff. So this is a fourth print, Nine Tails. Pretty sweet. Let's zoom in on the fourth print there. You can see 1999 to 2000 Wizards. So these are a lot harder to come by than you would think. Um, but nonetheless, pretty cool. Pretty sweet, Nine Tails. Uh, okay, let's see. We got a Blastoise. A Blastoise. And this is just the original base set. Nothing too crazy. Not an error or misprint or anything like that. Now we got a Shadowless Alakazam. Very nice looking Shadowless Alakazam. Pack fresh myself. Shadowless Arcanine. Or Canine. Arcanine. Here's an Ivy uh, Pikachu misprint first edition promo. Should not have the first edition stamp there. That is the misprint. Very rare to get, actually. 200 bucks is a 9 these days. Maybe 225 So, lo love a 9 or 10 there. Another uh, base at 2 Alakazam. Nothing really special there. A first ed Blissey. That is a uh, Neo Destiny, maybe? I, I'm not sure. And a Magneton first ed as well. Cool. Here's a Neo Revelation Umbreon first edition. That's a big boy. And it certainly looks super, super sweet, front and back. In my opinion, a BGS-10. Totally, this is all going to PSA, but in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with this. So, hope for the best. 1000 bucks, or, uh, 1000 600 bucks as a 10, I believe. So, pretty sweet. Even as a 9, it's 200 plus, so, pretty awesome. And we have an unlimited Umbreon. Same card, but the first dead is the big one. Another unlimited Umbreon. And a Japanese Umbreon. And now we have the Expedition Charizard non holo Now we got some Shinings, Shining Noctowl. Cool. Shining Noctowl. Cool. A Shining Gyarados. Very nice. Very nice. And here we got a, a Crystal. Crystal Guardians Reverse Charizard. Reverse Zard. These are getting a little pricey these days. And we have a regular Zard, so that's nice too. Here's a Gold Star Vaporeon. Very nice looking card. Very nice Gold Star. Power Keepers, EX Power Keepers. And here is another uh, Gold Star. This one's a Reggie Rock, and these look very nice. Ten potential on these both, so very happy with these. Here is a uh, Japanese Illustrator promo. A uh, hundred in existence. hundred of these. That's all there is. Winners were given from the Art Academy game. They were given a hundred of their own drawings or cards. Very nice. Very cool. Very expensive these days. And a Shining Mew from the newest uh, Shining Legends. Hold this one on video, actually, on my channel. And the last but not least, Shining ho -Oh. Very common promo, but uh, nonetheless, it's a Shining. Let's get it. Let's get it slabbed. So that will do it, guys. My friend does have 10 more cards, so these will, those will not be, I should say, those will not be uh, featured here on this video. 
But if you like what you saw, give it a like, give it a comment. Can't wait to get these back, and it will be about, like I said, about three months on the turnaround. I gave up. I was hoping for a special from PSA, and I've just said, you know, I'm just going bulk. I, I can't do it anymore. So that's it, guys. Until next time, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube signing out, and one day these are all going to come back. We're going to see what I get. All right. Bye-bye.